So, of course, just as I start, the snow starts coming down even harder. You know, they always say New England, if you don't like the weather, just wait five more minutes. And uh, that seems to be the case. Today we got about eight inches of snow. It's late February. Uh, just two days ago, we broke the all time warmest uh, temperature for that day. I think it was almost 65 degrees. And today we got about eight inches. So I wanted to take this opportunity to shoot a two year review and just kind of final thoughts video on this snowblower. Um, I bought this two years ago. I think it was $2,900. This is an Aaron's Professional Hydro 28 with the EFI. And it was kind of a new design. Uh, a lot of people were uneasy on it, uh, me included. But I've loved this rig and I'm gonna tell you why. All right, so like I said, this is a 28 Hydro EFI. Uh, it has the 420cc uh, motor in it. It makes 21 foot-pounds of torque. Overall, this thing has been as reliable as you could expect and hope from a snowblower. I've done basic maintenance on it. I've changed the oil uh, after a couple of snowstorms in the beginning, then changed it uh, at the end of the uh, at the end of the season. Um, Controls really operate the same. You still have your drive on the left. You have your auger on the right. It does have the hydro uh, transmission, so it's infinite gears. There's not just individual gears. Does come standard with uh, heat grips right here. I always have those on. I did add this little tachometer, which was a bad purchase, so I don't recommend that. Um, starting it, it almost always starts one pole. I've only had it not start one pole and it was kind of, I gave it a weak pole, but to start it, you just want to, you can really have your throttle. This is your throttle idle down up to, I usually start it in efficiency mode. You just turn the key, wait one second, and then, and then I usually, uh, today we'll probably plow on full power here. It's gonna be a little hard to uh, do it with one hand, but, So this is just crawl speed, we'll just... Easily going through this snow. I mean, this is shooting the snow 40 feet seems like. biggest storm in the world here guys let me try to clean the lens this is not the biggest storm in the world and I get that um, but I have had some pretty big storms and this thing just eats it up I love this thing so we'll just go ahead and just do a push and you'll see so we'll just turn the throttle back on
So, of course, just as I start, the snow starts coming down even harder. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the driveway here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I might even try a time lapse. I've never tried time lapse, but I'll go ahead, we'll end the video with a little bit of time lapse and me cleaning the top of the driveway. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video. I 100% recommend this snowblower. It's been two years, it's been perfect. I expect to get many more years of experience of a use out of this snowblower. All right guys, here comes the time lapse. Well, maybe I could use like a snow shield or whatever they call this, the little plastic cabins, but I thought it would be a little bit easier to give my final thoughts in the garage. Uh, I just finished snow blowing the driveway. Like I said, this thing is an absolute beast. Um, some of the things that I really like about this unit is I like how thick and heavy duty the chassis is, the handlebars. I have no problem picking it up with one hand and swinging it around. Kind of my last snow blower. Um, you know, the handlebars felt a little weak, like you felt like you were bending the handlebars. You get none of that here. Um, I like the EFI. The EFI has been great. It's been super low maintenance. Um, I stored it all last year. I did not um, charge the battery like they said to. Just wasn't an issue. I like the power steering. You can see how easy it is to move it. It has like a special differential that unlocks uh, the differential automatically, makes it really easy to turn. The chute, really easy to move the chute. You can do it one-handed with one finger if you needed to. Really nice and easy. Um, gas tank, here, if we can get to it here. Gas tank is a little small. Uh, you see Sorry about that guys. Uh, my GoPro must not like being cold because it said 41% battery and then it just died. So we were talking about the gas tank. Um, a lot of people complain online that it's uh, really small. Now maybe if you are commercially uh, clearing snow with this, maybe that is the case. Uh, but as far as residential work, I probably have uh, an above average size driveway, um, you know, I probably could benefit from a plow, but I really like using the snowblower. It's fun to use and I've always been able to get at least two full storms out of the gas tank. So the gas tank's not an issue. For me, the only thing I don't like is filling the gas tank. And what I mean by that is the lip to get the threads started on is really small. So you got to kind of fidget with the gas cap a couple of times to get it correct before it goes on. That's really my only my only fault with this. I love this thing. I don't think I could recommend it anymore. It's been reliable. Uh, it's powerful. It's easy to use. Even though it's heavy, it still maneuvers pretty easy in the snow, even one-handed. I mean, of course, it's better to use two hands. Um, but other than that, this thing has been an absolute beast. Um, I know they came out with new models. Uh, I know they came out with some new models, but I think the 420cc engine is the same. And to me, I always like having the biggest size engine with the smallest size chute. That way you can get the most amount of torque per inch. Um, I think that's important. Um, but that's really it, guys. You know, I hope you liked the video. Hit the like button. If you didn't, oh well, you can't win them all. And uh, that's it, guys. Thanks.